You know all this time and I still haven't thought of an intro? As you saw by the title, I decided that I'm going to be perming my hair. Oh, I'm going to do that, but Ooh. at home. I watched a few videos just to make sure that I'm not going into it blind. I'm just like a little like, scared, like a little scared. So I'm using this home perm. So promising, I know. I bought it at Fred Meyer for like seven bucks. Do not use if your hair has been double processed, bleached, and toned. I'm just going to say it. It's bleached on the ends. You cannot do that. It will burn. Also, so. Mm, okay. Mm -hmm. Unbleached, frosted, treated with any product that lightens. Okay, this is all me. <laughs> I'm figuring like one perm is not gonna be as much damage as, I don't know, maybe six months of using heat all the time. So. That's why I justify it. Basically, I use these wrappers to put at the end of my hair. And then I put like the curler. And see, like these aren't like, my hair is not gonna look like telephone cords. I have a feeling that hairstylists everywhere are just cringing. My hair is just like so damaged. So it's been well over a year since I've had my hair um, bleached. These little papers are basically to like protect- Such a big section! It doesn't care if you have bleached like six months ago, the bleach is still on the ends. So what will be damaged? The ends. Yes, it's okay to put that paper to protect your ends because sometimes it will be double and you have all these hairs in every direction. So that's why you have to use this paper. But if it's bleached, you cannot put a perm. And no, if you bleached your hair and you colored it one time, brown, so we don't see the blonde anymore, it doesn't mean you can perm your hair. The damage, the bleach is underneath the brown, so... But you have to take finer sections. It will not be good. I think. Honestly, I should be applying it to all the blonde pieces, but you know. And wetten your hair. The trolley bit. Oi. Oi. It's difficult. I'm gonna rewrap this. Maybe I should like split it. Yes, that's what I'm gonna do. Yeah, okay, try that. In my hair. It's not doing the best either way, but make it even worse. Okay, you're doing all right, I think. Wow. If you can see like my hair, there's like the bulk of the hair right here. And then like the very ends of my hair, there are like two hairs. Apply petroleum jelly around the hairline. Okay, I have double wear on, so absolutely not. Saturate every curl for most even results. No, I'd rather just like saturate one or two curls, do you know what I mean? Okay, you guys, don't laugh because this is not funny. Oh my God, I'm so beautiful. So it says to take the curling- You have to do that for your eyes. Put my cute gloves on. Not gonna lie, I'm a little scared. Let's do it. Oh, that is on another level type of stank. Yes, it stinks. Ever spelled perm? Well, no. What I'm talking about, I truly do not know if anything's coming out. Oh, yeah. Now that I'm thinking about it, I should have asked someone to help me with this, but you know what? I'm an independent woman and I make mistakes on my own. Can't even get over it. I'm literally shaking. Wait, hold on, I need to get up to do this one. <laughs> oh, no. It's dripping. No, I know, I know. I love that I actually thought this was a good idea. Okay, it says to use this whole bottle, but look. Honestly, I think that all the time has gone by and I need to wash this out. I keep putting these cuties back on. So I'm, now I'm doing the neutralizer. Really scared, annoyed. I don't know how this is gonna turn out. Not I good. I leave my house for six months, I have no idea. Sometimes when I'm stressed, I just like, I can't hide it. The hair isn't um, sliding off with the rods, so that's somewhat of a good sign, I think. I'm so excited and also scared to see how it's gonna turn out because I just wanted to have like a nice wave. That's all I want. So I'm going to rinse this. Yeah, we'll see. <laughs> you know Cindy Loper in the 80s? This ain't it, this. <laughs> oh no. You know, I didn't want it to look 80s, but it just turned out looking so 80s. Okay, so it did give me some volume. It's not fully dry. Okay, so, um... <laughs> I don't even know what to say. 
it just looks very dry. I think that's why like the texture looks really weird. I mean, I have to live with it, so it is what it is, but you know, maybe in the 90s that would have been popping, but right now, mm, I'm just speechless. I'm, I really am. I thought that it would turn out a lot different, but it didn't, so, you know, it's not that bad. No, it kind of is that bad. Sometimes I have a client in my salon and they want to have these beach waves. These are with curling irons or flattening irons that they are putting together or with a brush. You cannot put a perm and have these beach waves. There have been, in the, in the passing years, there have been many techniques to have these kinds of waves in a perm. But no one that I tested was good. You cannot have these beach waves with a perm. It's always with a curling iron or with a flat iron and, and turn it or with a brush. It's always like that. You cannot perm it. Why it's so 80s looking? Because it's the ends are dead. The bleached part is dead. So it's, it's really frizzy. So it's not nice. Let's go to the next one. Um, my hair was half, what was it? It was half pink, half blue. Is that picture? Okay, eager. I'm not good with that now. <gasps> Watch your hair. Don't be so harsh with your hair. Two months ago or something, I think. There's still like this greeny blue in my hair. It's not coming off so easy. So I'm gonna start at the bottom. I want to work like quite quickly. Ooh, that's very dry. Like, underneath. My, like, where, like I said, like, pre beach bit was. I just applied bleach to, like, the main portion of my hair. These bright colors, the direct pigments, are very hard to get out of your hair. Very hard. I'm up here, but. The green is still there. I've made my hair one thousand times worse. I'm just zooming in. So, so embarrassing. Oh God. First of all, my hair is like spongy now. Spongy. So my ends are bright for the heavens. Same color, still green in my hair. My roots are orange. This middle part of my hair is still very dark. I'm just gonna tone it because it toning. It honestly can't get any worse. Like the green is still there. It's too yellow. So. before I tone my hair it was still very green and stuff which it still is like the green's not gone but it's not as green you know you can really see like the different colours like you have to bleach the regrowth you have to bleach the regrowth what I've learned from this is don't bleach hair on c'est en français uh, I live in Belgium and we speak French and Dutch, actually Flemish, it's, it's a dialect. Most of the people think, and a lot of people speak French also, but my French is not so good. Je ne parle pas très bien français. So don't ask me to translate what she's saying, because my French is not so good. It's, it's, it's okay. Uh, je parle français jusqu'à espagnol. So, they say that in, in France, uh, 
You speak French like a Spanish cow. Maybe there are some people that watch that are watching from France, so I'm sorry. Je ne parle très bien français, excusez-moi. Euh, mais continue. So this is the oxidation. Turn the volumes. It's really white her hair. And, and she's really dark. So let's see. She put a lot of products. But it's really long. Oh no, no, baby, tu peux en faire ça. Tu peux en faire ça. It's yellow. She says it's yellow. It's normal, you're so dark. Decoration de merde. Oh, it's really damaged. Oh! Je sais pas c'est quoi cette décoloration de merde. J'aurais dû prendre ma décoloration à moi. Putain, le prix ça, le prix ça change tout. Le prix ça change tout. Putain, pourquoi j'ai fait ça? J'ai appelé Michel. J'ai appelé Michel. Je sais pas quoi faire. J'ai perdu mes cheveux. Je suis en train de perdre mes cheveux. Je suis vraiment en train de perdre mes cheveux. Je suis en train de perdre mes cheveux. Regardez. Yes, I see it. Listen, if you have such a long hair and you are bleached it every time to white, on some point your hair is going to say enough. It's bad. It's bad. It's really broken. Yes, I see it. She says, look at it. She says, I'm dying, I'm dying. Oh my god. I don't see any tears. Sorry. C'est pas possible. Non, c'est pas possible. She says it's not possible. It's not possible. Yes, it is. It's really dead. Look at that hair. En plus, j'ai l'œil tout rouge. Je perds mes cheveux. Je perds mon œil. She says her eyes is really red. It's from crying. Look at that end. You have to cut it. It's finished. Look, you can. You can. Yes. Yes. And Kari. Okay, she's cutting it. It's really fine hair. She already has fine hair. Maybe she's already lost half of her hair. Don't bleach your hair with so fine. Leave it alone. What are you doing now? You're going to color it again. She wants that silver color. If you are so upset about your hair, if you are just having, it's really beautiful color for you. I know. I cannot believe this. If you are that upset, about your hair falling out, you cannot color it again. It means the color is more important to you than your hair. Next time it will be worse.
Yes, it's a very nice color. It suits her perfectly. I love these silver colors. It's really, really, really nice, these silver colors, but it's so damaging your hair. There are not a lot of people that can have this silver color for a longer term without breaking their hair. And if you are having such a breakdown and you have to cut it like such a, a pieces off and still coloring it, then I'm not sure how bad your breakdown was. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to say that. I feel so bad to say that, but it's really true. It's really true. It's, it was bad. So please, please, if you have fine hair, if you have such beautiful long hair, don't bleach it so white. Don't do it. If you want to go blonder, uh, do balayage and only go, only do the regrowth so the lens will be untouched and they will not damage more and more and more. Uh, sometimes I have clients in my salon asking for that color and I'm always honest. I say, if you do that, your hair is damaged and I don't do that. So you can go to another hair salon and they will do it, but not in my salon. I will not allow to have somebody leaving my salon with damaged hair. If I believe that it's not good for your hair, I don't do it. That's my opinion and my staff is trained also to do that. If you like this uh, hair fair compilation, give this video a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel, press that notification bell. You can also follow me on Instagram, but more important, you can also follow me on TikTok. And all I'm going to say now is, ciao kus.